Hello all and welcome to this AWS tutorial. In our tutorial today, I will provide a brief overview on Amazon WorkDocs. Before we continue further ahead, a couple of reference URLs. Please refer to these URLs as they have additional information about this topic. I will have these URLs posted in the description of this video as well. Let us now go ahead and look at WorkDocs. What is exactly Amazon WorkDocs? So WorkDocs is a secured managed enterprise storage service to store files or documents. So in very, very simple words, is a, it is a file storage service or document storage service, right? If, you have, if anybody asks you this question, have you worked with WorkDocs? Do you know what WorkDocs is all about? It is nothing else but a file storage service. Now, this particular service allows its users to kind of store different files. And the files that are stored by the users are only visible to them and anyone whom they have designated as contributors or viewers. It also allows users to kind of share their files with other members of the organization for collaboration or review. WorkDocs pretty much supports all kinds of document and image formats, right, right here. Now, when you go to your AWS console, you will actually find this service. It's called as Amazon WorkDocs. But the console that you see, that is only for administrators or administrative purposes like managing users, storage, and security settings. But let's say if you have to perform a non-administrative task, right, like accessing files, et cetera, then how will you perform this non-administrative task? Those non-administrative tasks cannot be performed from AWS console. In order for you to perform any non-administrative task, you will have to use a client application. Right, so different users will have to use these client applications. There are different types of client applications and utilities. There's a web application, the native mobile device application, and most importantly, you have something called as Amazon WorkDocs Drive. This is more like a desktop uh, shared network drive kind of a situation wherein you can have WorkDocs Drive as a shared network drive on your desktop, whether it's a Mac or a Windows, right? So you don't have to store your files locally. You can pretty much access it via this particular utility on Amazon WorkDocs, right? Now, it also has an SDK. And these, this particular SDK provides APIs for application integration. Amazon WorkDocs also supports document approval workflows. And users can approve these documents via the WorkDoc site, right? And in that WorkDoc site, there is an approvals app. It's basically one of the options over there. So I hope that it gives, this kind of gives you a clear understanding of what this service is all about. It's a very simple service. There's nothing complicated about it, right? But if you are looking for uh, a file storage and an approval workflow service that you want to integrate in your application, plus let's say the users want to access it via a shared network drive or via the mobile device, then this is that particular service. And it can be very easily integrated using APIs with your application as well. Now, this particular picture over here kind of shows different things that Amazon WorkDocs does. So let's say if you have legacy network file shares, you can pretty much copy this content over and then you can have that network drive attached right to your laptop or your desktop. The good part is that now, instead of being on a shared network, uh, right, your files are now on cloud. It's a cloud-based file storage service. Of course, you can use the mobile app to kind of enable your workforce, right, to kind of look at files on the go. Any extension or automation is possible, of course, integrating this with your applications. 
secure, auditable uh, content sharing, collaboration and workflows is pretty straightforward. And of course, team file storage. So these are some of its uh, applications or uh, use cases where you can certainly leverage this. Now let's look at the benefits of this particular service. As I said, it's a file storage in cloud. You have an SDK to integrate this with your apps. You can use the WorkDocs drive, right, to access the content using your laptop. And most importantly, you can have approval workflows. And use cases, what I have done over here is I have summed up this diagram in pretty much one simple sentence as much as I could, right? So basically it's a, it's a file storage system that you know external and internal users can use to con share content, collaborate, and approval workflows. Of course, you can copy over your legacy information and legacy content and everything over there, but the intention is to have this cloud-based file storage. And visit this particular link for pricing reasons. In fact, I have this link open as well. So this particular link shows the pricing. And if you see over here, in most regions, it is $5 per user per month and includes one TB of storage for each user, right? Uh, there's a 30 day free trial as well. So that is good, up to 50 users. And if you are using Amazon Workspaces, then WorkDocs is available for no additional charge. This includes 50 GB of storage per Workspace user. And for discounted rate of $2 per Workspace user, this can be upgraded to 1 TB of storage as well. So again, if you see over here, WorkDocs user fee per month is $5 USD. And the first TB slash user per month is included. And let's look at the uh, WorkDocs price API pricing, right? So it is $1.45 for 10,000 API calls, that is for read. And $29 for 10,000 API calls for write. And this list is activate at different API calls. As you can see, they are listed over here. Again, $58 for 10,000 calls for search, right? And then $0 for delete and cancel. It totally depends upon what kind of APIs you'll call, but I would assume that since you're having a document management system, you will pretty much call all of these APIs. So depending upon the type of API you call, the pricing differs. Of course, this pricing can change in the future as well. I also wanted to briefly touch base upon this SDK URL that I had mentioned in the reference URLs, right? If you actually scroll down over here, there are different scenarios and examples that they have discussed, right? So how to integrate work docs with your auditing antivirus and data loss prevention applications, how to build collaboration capabilities, a process management application, you know, with uh, Amazon WorkDocs, if you want to integrate it over there, or even migrate your content to Amazon WorkDocs, or manage user and content life cycles. So there are some examples over here. Do go through this. It's not in absolute detail, but it will give you some exam uh, understanding or a sample as to how you can achieve something like this. Assuming you have a similar scenario, maybe you might work on a similar scenario in the future on your project. So I hope that this tutorial was helpful to post your comments, right? And I will see you later in some other video. I will try to create a hands-on lab around this as well and have it posted shortly. Thank you and bye-bye.